Hey guys, welcome back to Live with yes you better know so guys i'm so excited to tell you today this video is sponsored by nabs bakes yes honey nabs bakes so there is a competition currently right now running on my instagram please go please i would like you to win follow each and every instruction read through each and every instruction it's the most easiest competition that i've ever seen on any social media platform Boom. So guys, Namspex is sponsoring this video. Go follow her. Here's her handle. There is a great competition running for you and your loved one that you can win on V-Day, honey. <gasps> I'm so excited. And guess what? We don't have a lot of followers on Instagram. So that means you stand a better chance of winning, honey. So enter. Go to my Instagram. Here's my handle. Go, go read the competition post as the last post on my page read through the instructions and you will stand a chance to win i really want one of you guys to win and remember you can enter as many times but make sure to read the instructions so now we can get straight into today's video i hope you enjoy this please don't forget to like comment and subscribe what is it really guys is it aladdin or is it aladdin please comment down below <laughs> Because we're literally having a dispute about Aladdin. this. He's saying it is Aladdin, and I'm saying it is not Aladdin. Aladdin. Not Aladdin. What is Aladdin? Aladdin and Jasmine and the Jasmine. There is Aladdin. Because he's saying all the time, "Are you Aladdin?" And I'm like, "Are you talking about the fire?" <laughs> look at the smile. Look at this. Look at this. He's so cute. He's a mashallah. Because I'm like, Aladdin, are you talking about the wrestling fighter? He's like, didn't you watch Aladdin when you were a child? I'm like, no, I watched Aladdin. He's like, no, it's Aladdin. <laughs> yeah. I totally forgot to vlog. So what I'm doing right now, I am currently just like teaching myself how to get confident with driving with a manual car again if you saw on my status i was freaking out the other day and i'm just so tired like my husband really spoiled me with the automatic car but i feel like even though automatic is the future i think i feel like manual is priority and that you should be driving a manual car every day just in case it's an emergency you should be confident so that's what pushing me so it is day five now and in this week i dr have driven like three times yes thrice and today i had to go pick up this other man's car and then i said i'm gonna drive um our car and it's manual we don't have the automatic car anymore and i was stuck in, in traffic in gatesville and it is like 12 15 right now and i need to head home and i was like you know what i'm just gonna come to Vanguard mall and just come figure this clutch control out and I did I did I'm so proud of myself and this is my model support keeping quiet at the back as long as he has his snacks so yeah how's mommy's driving so far I figured it out on my own no more stuck in traffic no more stuck in traffic no more stuck in traffic no more stuck in stuck in stuck in stuck in traffic <laughs> look at this Charlie he's just a banana frick this is like the third banana for the morning for this for this are you are you george the monkey are you george the monkey i put him this on today because did you notice like if you buy your kids too many clothes then they don't wear everything so it's like a waste of money even though you're giving it away and another child can wear it it's still a waste so i was like there's no occasion but i'm putting this on for him <laughs> just so that i know i want to make sure my kids wear all their clothes <laughs> Okay guys, I'll update you again. I'm just gonna give my little George the monkey some banana ba ba banana ba ba banana ba <laughs> your baby's out now. You such an actor. Do you get it from your mommy? Your acting skills, do you get it from your mommy? Huh? Show me how you sleep. You said you're tired, show me how you sleep. Let me see how you sleep. Okay. I bring you guys along and even though I'm in a parking lot parking lot I'm still going to put on my baby seatbelt and my seatbelt because I'm such a safe mommy <laughs> the best part about learning how to drive you need to drive on a, a real rusty car you know because it's just like so strong <laughs> so I'm going to show you guys that I know how to do my clutch control baby without the car shooting up <laughs> The banana gave me so much energy, some healthy energy. So I do my 
um, my petrol up here, so my petrol, my accelerate with the battery, and then I lift up my clutch, and then I put down my, my, my gear. Sorry guys. Be gentle, be gentle. Don't pull them out. Oh, boy, I'm a tiger. Oh, she loves it, guys, boys. She loves it. Yes. Outside. No, inside. This is saving his mommy six hundred rand. Guess who say who is saving his mom six hundred rand by trapping the duvet covers? So now I don't have to take it to the laundry. This big boy. Hey, hey. Look at him trapping and punching. Wow, he's my hero. You're so strong, Baba. Wow, wow. I literally feel like crying right now. I got people to help me. They're telling me there's nothing wrong with my core, but me. <laughs> And my clutch control that's so shitty. Yo, oh, this is so embarrassing, but yo, alhamdulillah, people are helping me. I suck in traffic with the manual car day one. I don't know who I thought that was. Yo. Can you explain how I ended up like driving in traffic because I would have never. Um, we currently selling like all our baby stuff, so we have a twin pram. So my husband has a buyer that wants to view the pram. And I told him um, he can come fetch the car and like go because it's like peak, you know, like five o'clock. And he's like, no, you must come. Like he always pushes me. And then I see it in a good way. Like it's good. You know, you need to get out of your comfort zone. Stop being such a, yeah. So yeah, if he just had to come, this would have never happened. And But then he said sorry afterwards because he realized he only thought afterwards about the traffic and stuff. <sighs> So yeah, we're just currently, hopefully this guy takes this pram because all the shit I went through to get the pram here. Oh, and my husband took an Uber to where I was. So, and this people was like standing and just waiting and they're just like, you a woman, you can get hijacked. And, you know, because Cape Town is becoming like Joburg where people, um, shit happens and people don't help People don't do anything that's just how life is right now because people themselves that are seeing things happening are self scared you know so yeah I'm just feeling a bit down I just want to see my kids and hold them and then I want to phone my best friend and tell her just so we can laugh at me together <laughs> I just want to laugh like she's just gonna laugh and make fun of me we're gonna laugh together crack my ass off but she's working tomorrow so I can't fetch her to sleep over or anything so I'll have to laugh off her phone <laughs> getting you off from the press would be the best but now you're like it's sacking me uh. stop it sacking me please stop it sack Zaydan come save me Zaydan please save me your brother's attacking me don't be mean <laughs> so it's the next day guys and last night guess what i went to go sleep at 3 a.m this morning because i was busy with washing i had this thing i like doing washing like in the night like at late at night or in the middle of, like if i can't sleep i'll do washing and then i'll just hang it in the morning but i woke up like half past nine which is kind of late because I like to hang my washing really early so that my day can start, my housework is out of the way and stuff like that. And yeah, I'm starving so I'm going to bring you along. I'm going to continue doing the washing. I'm only going to do one more load. I don't like doing washing all day. Not for me. And I'll do the rest tonight and then hang that tomorrow morning. So right now, I'm going to continue with the washing and then do breakfast. I'm going to bring you along and then I'm going to see what we're going to do for the day. Show you guys. So, Yo. what happened? Yeah. What? Yo. The paint. No. <laughs> what the paint. I'm not ready. So, guys, this is Aiden. 
Say Are hi. So he's like the one person that we trust <laughs> to paint our house. If I'm not painting, he's the one that does the painting. <laughs> so he's just finishing up. I don't even paint the side also. Yeah. You don't need the zinc actually. Oh, you don't need the zinc. Okay. Um yeah, so now we just I'm just waiting for Aiden to get done and then he's actually going to guide us on the hike. So we're gonna have a mini hike to Rose Memorial. So we're gonna take a Uber to where we're we gonna take a Uber to? To Observatory. Obs Mowbray. Yeah, Mowbray and then we're gonna walk up. I'm so excited. And to the mountains! To the mountain I asked um Zaydan, would you like to go to the pools? Or would you like to go to the mountain? Or would you like to go to the beach? He's like, mountain! <laughs> so we're going to the mountain! <laughs> Ready to transform? One, two, three! So now one, two, three! There you go! Woo! What do you want to know? I think there's a farmer there. <laughs> you think there's a farmer there? <laughs> Come, let's go. Come, we have to catch up now. Woo! We need to catch up. <laughs> Here we go. Oh my god. They're like, it's and it's poisonous now, and there's a lot of freaky stuff there. Oh my fucking god. Just walk on the trail and don't go into the bushes. Do you hear that voice? Just walk on the trail and don't go into the bushes. guys enjoy this two days in my life it's been crazy and it's been fun and yeah i'm going to start being consistent again and bring some fun videos don't forget to comment like and subscribe for more videos be safe don't forget to wear your mask when you go out okay bye